All right, I'm in a Walmart now. Um, whole bunch of Wave 2, bunch of Megatron and Optimus. Um, they restocked Wave 1. Let's see, nothing but the Rusticon and Cheetor. It's so weird to me, they've been restocking Wave 1 of all things. Like, but, I mean, whatever. Uh, some one-step changer stuff. Um, man, there's no DC Multiverse stuff at all. That's cool, they got a Sam Wilson, one of those, you know, crappy kids toys, but it's cool they got him. One for him. So much of the Shang-Chi wave. Um, a couple of the super villains wave. Just kind of remnants. Um... Star Wars section is a joke, as always. They do have a Galvatron here, though, and three Ultra Magnuses, and that guy, <laughs> if people care about him. But yeah, that's the Transformer section. Alrighty, we are in a Target now. Um, yeah, no luck. These are only nine bucks. I already have the Megatron, but I'm gonna pick him up. I was really hoping to find a slag, but I'm not seeing any. Marvel, um, he's on sale, she's on sale already, like, oh, he's not even out yet. And it's crazy to me, I think I mentioned this before, like, Black Widow's not even out yet, and or it just came out today, and there's still no even action figures on the shelves for it. I feel kind of bad for that movie. Yeah. Nine bucks will pick him up. What's going on, everyone? It's uh, now been a couple days since I was just at that last Walmart. Uh, I just hit a Target. Uh, my main goal today is to go to Best Buy because I uh, did in-store pickup for Trax, Scorponok, and Rhinox, which I'm so excited to pick up those three. Best Buy opens in like half an hour or something like that. So I just hit the Target up, looking for slag, and then I'm going to go to a Walmart that's on the way to this Best Buy, also looking for slag. That's really what I'm looking for. But anyways, at that Target, I did pick up this Fallen Leader or uh, Optimus Prime because it was like eight or nine bucks. So I figured I might as well. But yeah, I'm going to hit a Walmart up next and I'll see you guys there. All right, this is the Walmart that usually never has like anything, but we're coming down this way. I'll hope they have some. All right, real Ghostbuster stuff. Oh, they got the whole super villains wave in. Um, wave one. A uh, whole bunch of leader class figures. Let's go over here. Oh, they have um the Boba Fett. Group Karga and Quill. Jeez, they've got a whole bunch of Ultra Magnuses up there. And then they got a Galvatron, and then a whole bunch of Ultra Magnus. Wow, I wonder why they have so many of him. So weird. Anyways, let's see, do they got Red Skull? No, he's the only one they're missing, of course. Yeah, let's see. They're missing Arcade, too, that's weird. Is she hard to find? I might pick her up, I'm not sure yet though. Um, I'm at Best Buy right now. I just picked up my order. Oh my god, my hair's awful. But uh, anyways, I did just pick up my order. I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm gonna check out the normal toy section real quick anyways, just to see what they got. All right, they got the whole Star Wars set up here with the battle droids, bunch of those. A Shang-Chi, he's everywhere. A Black Widow. To her. Let's see, so there's some stuff over here too. The freezing chamber playset. Batman, Mace Windu, and Jar Jar, just no Qui Gon. But yeah, that's really all I'm seeing. Yelena and Emperor Palpatine up there. And some random Lego sets. And then this is all other random Lego sets too. Nothing I'm looking for though. So I just got a Best Buy, like I said, it picked up everything in my order. So I'm just gonna show those off real quick and then probably call it a hunt. Uh, we have the K2 
Kingdom Rhinox. They put those stupid stickers all over them, so that kind of sucks. But we had him, uh, Trex, and then finally, Scorponok. Uh, so that means the only ones I'm missing are Wingfinger, which I didn't really want to, you know, they were a little bit more expensive on Best Buy's site. I think they were like 22 bucks instead of 20. So, I, wing finger to me just wasn't worth paying that extra, uh, but I'll probably pick them up if I see them in a store. And then I'm only uh, the only other wave three figure I'm missing is four class sound wave, which I really really want. I've been looking for it everywhere, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. And then I'm caught up on Transformers for now, which I'm so hyped about. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see All you right, the next. Now a couple days later, I'm at a different Target, so I'm gonna see if I can find the new Studio Series leader classes. Really wants luck. All right, coming down the aisle, and it looks like we're not gonna have any luck with. Thing. Same clearance stuff. Um, they got two major blood figures on the shelf. Star Wars section is very, very sad, as always. Marvel figures. Um, these guys were on sale for 17 bucks, and Katie's 50% off. And yeah. It's like all the same stuff as last time. We've got a crosshair, a couple hunters, and a wrecker. There's this section over here. Nothing is standing out to me as new. They did have some bad batch pops, but none over here doesn't look like. I'd like to find more of the Snyder Cut figures, but I'm not seeing them there. Kind of tempted to pick up that model kit, but not today. I don't. All right, I got my Starbucks from Target. They didn't really have anything I wanted otherwise, but I'm. Um... There's a GameStop right here, and they're actually open because it's a little bit later in the day. So I'm gonna run in there and see what I can find. Silent Sword's heavy use of motion controls, particularly... Oh, Red Skull that I'm seeing. ...and went much deeper than mindlessly hacking away. Each enemy and boss required players to be thoughtful and precise with their blows. This game, more than any other, validated Nintendo's decision to base their console around novel motion controls instead of graphical horsepower. Because of the Wii's lack of grunt, though, the game had to be less open world than past entries. But the Metroid-like way old areas opened up still had a rewarding sense of exploration. Now the game is back, and thanks to 10 years of technological innovation, the handling of this remastered sword is sharper than ever. The game now also includes the same Sound sword in place map to the thumbsticks, Drago. so you can play if you have a Switch light, or if you're on an airplane where... All right, so, um... Just got out of the GameStop and Target. You no, know, like in the Target, I did pick up one thing in the GameStop. That is one. I never get these things out of the bags. Oh my god. I picked up one of the Marvel Retro figures. I got the Black Panther. There he is. Uh, he's pretty cool. I've been doing this. I have like this whole wall of retro figures. Obviously, vintage collection. Some of the Super Seven Transformers, and then I've been getting these Marvel ones. They're only ten bucks, so I don't feel too bad buying them because they're not. You know, they're pretty inexpensive. And then GameStop was having a sale today where it was um that like pro card member thing where they usually charge like 20 bucks for it to become like a member. It was only five bucks, so I, I did that. But yeah, that's what I got to GameStop and I'm gonna go to Walmart next. So All right, so on my way to the Walmart, there's actually another GameStop. This is actually my favorite GameStop because it's the biggest one. So I'm gonna run in there real quick and then I'll hit the Walmart and then maybe a Target, another GameStop. I don't know, I've got the whole day off. So we're just gonna hit a bunch of stores. Right Hard one to find is gonna be Carrot Dune, definitely. The Armorer. First time seeing him in the store, but I really just want Red Skull from that wave. Some of those guys. 
you know, people put things on this game and hard to describe this way. But that are the art games, so it's it's a game that I have. Oh, man, I'm in up there. So many Funko Pups. Um, Dino. I have that model kit. It's really cool. Bunch of that guy. Kind of want this all right, so just got out of the second GameStop. I picked up this Kingdom Vertebrate because I didn't have her, and she was only seven bucks. So I figured I might as well pick it up here and then get those rewards points. Um, I'm gonna hit a Walmart next, so I'll see you guys in there. Leftovers of that wave. Um, I'm seeing Inferno and Dinobot restocked. Still a bunch of Ultra Magnuses. Overlord. Just so many of these Constructicons. They're really, really overstocked on those. Um, no sound wave. All right, so I'm going to make one last stop for today. I'm going to go into my local mall. It's a pretty big mall. There's a Barnes & Noble, a Disney Store, a GameStop, FYE, Box Lunch, all those places. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to record in there because it does get kind of cramped, but uh, I'm going to run in and I'll let you know if I find anything. Right before you walk into FYE, they got a big Loki post. All right, I think that's finally gonna do it for today's toy hunt. I hit a couple stores, I didn't record everything. The only thing I picked up was from Barnes & Noble's, this Gundam model kit. I don't know nothing about Gundam, but I thought I might be able to squeeze them into my Transformers, and it was only six bucks. I don't know how big it's gonna be. I know nothing about it, but it was six bucks, and I figured, what the hell, I had all of the cash in my wallet, so I figured I'd just pick them up, because I don't really like carrying cash. But anyways, that's gonna finally do it for that hunt. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked the video, please uh, consider leaving a like. That'd mean a lot, and subscribing, that means so much to me. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.